Welcome, YouTubers. Today I have a special presentation on how I clean glassware um, after it comes out of the creek, of course. Uh, I want to give a special shout out uh, to All American Diggers. Um, they, they gave a baseline on how to clean a vintage bottle. Uh, Terry and his son, Ryan, uh, truly, truly are. They're, they're great videos. If you ever get a chance to watch them, go to All American Diggers and, and check them out. Uh, they've actually helped me a lot. And, and what I'm about to show you, with an addition of a very unique way I clean the inside of a bottle, because that is the hardest part to get out. But on their video, um, they spend 24 hours probably soaking their bottle. Um, just, you know, a normal bottle, they'll soak it for 24 hours, um, gets most of the crud out. And, and it's, a, it's a great way to get most of it clean, okay? Uh, the second thing that they do uh, after they rinse that out the bleach is they're going to soap it up and shake it and, and, you know, get as much of that dirt off as they can with some, with some Dawn dish soap or any kind of dish soap that you might use. Uh, and then that, their final thing is they, they use a gallon of Windex, put it in a bucket, you know, swish it around and, and get it shining. Well, I don't have the brushes that they have, and this video is for those people that don't have the brushes to get the inside with, with you know, to clean it the final, you know, little bit of, uh, of scrubbing that you have to do. And I'm going to show you here. This is after, this is after I have bleached, soaked, and rinsed, and windexed, and you can still see that there's a lot of crud going on right there. I'm pretty sure you can see that. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a method. You know, I, I just put out a video on Father's Day. It was my first YouTube video. Um, and I was in three foot of water most of the day. I mean, eight hours of that, you're going to get a lot of sand in your boots, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually show you how to take that sand in your boots and to get the rest of it clean. So what I have here, I have my actual boot that I have not cleaned yet. Okay. There's actually sand in it. And I'm going to actually dump that out. Now this sand <laughs> had quite a bit of sand in my boots. Good grief. This is a pain in your foot. And I can tell you why. It just starts caking up in a certain spot in your foot. And if you don't get it out, I had to empty it out on how many times. But anyways, here we go. We've got the sand in your boot from out, out there hunting those arrowheads, hunting those bottles. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these bottles. Now this is a corker, just a non-embossed corker. That's how I found this out, by the way. I didn't use one of my best bottles to find out if this works or not. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually spray some Windex inside the corker, something like that, and yeah, a little bit more maybe. And I'm going to take a couple pinches of the sand in my boot. I know what you're thinking. That's some country, you know what? But you know what? It works. So we're gonna, I'm gonna demonstrate this to you. Now all we're gonna do is I'm gonna close that up, dip it under there, get all that excess sand so you're not throwing it all over the place. And we're gonna shake for about, I don't know, one minute. How's everybody doing? Yeah. Give it a good shaking. This is obviously naturally cleaning the inside of the bottle, just like, just like uh, you know, if you if you read on how Stone Age Native Americans used to um, drill, they would use sun sand in their drill, in their hand drills, and use water, and that would be a, a natural you know grinding effect in cutting those holes. So this is a uh, this is just cutting through the dirt. That's all we're doing here. So give it about 15 more seconds here. I guess I could give a special thanks to Paleo Hunter. Um, he came down the other day. If you haven't seen his videos, you should check him out as well. He hunts the Ohio River a lot. Um, and uh, he's very successful at what he does. So if you ever get a chance to check out his videos, he's an up-and-comer uh, YouTuber, kind of hopefully like I am. So we will, uh, we, will, we will ride the boat together. So here we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to Soak the bottle until we get all the suds out. Corkers are a little tougher because they just don't want to fill and, and drain like normal bottles. Come on, man. I'll get all the 
said, though. Okay, we're almost there. Yeah, turned out pretty good. I won't have to make another video. I'm good. Sometimes you might have to repeat this process one time, but most of the time you don't. I'm going to demonstrate on one more bottle, but I'm going to show this to you. I'm going to go ahead and swipe this off. Now what you want to do is you'll want to you know, Windex it one more time. But as you can see, um, the bottle is now pretty clean. You can even see a couple bubbles in there. That's kind of cool. But this is just a corker. It's hard to get a brush in there to really get it out. So I just use a little sand out of the boot and there you go. So there's one demonstration. Now if you see my video on Father's Day, you also know that I found this beauty. It had a little flash crack in it. Um, it is a whiskey bottle from it says 56 and 49. It's one of the years. I don't know. I haven't researched it yet. I actually have a half pint version of this as well. I thought I had the same bottle, but it's actually a bigger version of the same bottle I had. So what we're going to do is the same thing. Let me show you how, what it looks like after I bleached it, after I soaked it and windexed it. It's still pretty darn cloudy. You know, once again, I don't have the brushes. You can see how cloudy this thing is. It's got a lot of scratch marks on it. So <clears throat> once again, real simple method here. I'm going to Windex it. I'm going to spray that Windex right in there. I use Windex. Some two keys. All right. Now, gather some of this beautiful boot sand, as I call it. Hmm. And you just gotta conquer the elements sometimes, guys. You have a little sand in your boot, make a glass cleaner out of it. That's how you do it. All right. So, yeah, I think that'll work. So with this, what I do is I stick my thumb in there. Like I turn the bottle every once in a while. This one you might have to do more than one time, but I'm going to show you how much clearer it gets, even on your ambers here. I've already did the, the half pint bottle. It came out pretty good. Still seeing a little dirt and a little tread. Almost done, guys. You're getting a general idea anyway. All right. Drain a little quicker. I'm doing this inside my business. So I'm using, I don't know if you can tell or not, the towels have dog prints on it. I'm using a big catheter box. And I'm on a grooming table, so take a guess on what I do for a living. Lots of suds in there. Yeah, we'll get it. One more time, and I think we got it. Get another shout out to Heartbreak Relics, man. You guys just put out the most phenomenal video, the most phenomenal footage. I love you. I think you guys are awesome. You know, you can't forget Brooksy. Brooksy, you're uh, you've been doing this for a while, brother. Okay, 
So here we go. I'm just going to wipe the bottle off. I'm going to come show it to you. Much better, much better. Okay. So you've seen what it looked like before. Here it is. Probably should put it in the light, but much better than what it was. It's still a little cloudy. This is about as clean as you're going to get this bottle, though. Just throw some Windex on that and it should sparkle right up. Sit here. A lot of this that you're seeing is still cloudy on the outside. And once that you get the dirt out of them, them scratches, you know, you're gonna you're gonna have a product kind of like that. But that is that is as clean as you're gonna get this bottle. So kind of cool, dude. Kind of cool. So in conclusion, uh, just want to thank you for watching my videos. I do plan on putting them out. Um, each and every Monday, I do walk the creeks on Sundays, and I spend six to eight hours in these creeks, and I will find things. Hopefully, um, some days the water's up too high, like it was this Sunday, and I didn't find a whole lot, but I found some killer stuff. Um, but please subscribe. I appreciate all the subscriptions. Um, I'm just starting out, and uh, keep up the good work, you guys, that have inspired me to do what I'm doing now. But anyways, this is the boot method. Take the boot out of your sand, clean the inside of that glass, and until next time, thanks for watching for, and stay tuned for the next tips. I will get tips on how I do things, um, little alterations on how other people do things. So, you know, that's what we do. We take the information we have and we make it better. But anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.